All right, folks. Greetings and peace. Welcome to episode 38 of my gameplay commentary of Horizon Forbidden West. This is yours truly, Bionic and Saint Francis Coleman. Okay, so I continue to uh, just. You know, I'm still going to the motion of trying to get the trophy for, you know, um, getting the upgrade to the pouch. So there's a pouch upgrade. Let's see if I can get this right now. All right. Upgraded every pouch, right? Okay, that's a good start for episode 38, folks. Okay, so trap crafting. Alright, so let's see here. Why would the wound give less water? Uh, what's going on? These here? rations barely get us through the day, Commander. Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water. The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert. What's stopping us from taking what we want? And now. Uh, that's what anyone else want to complain we're the desert clan we survive with what we have your uh commander's not much for hand holding that is not our way even less so in her case shall we sure can't wait she's with me Rock is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. This is the Outlander conspiring with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. It doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? 
I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. This water source, Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own, over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources, but everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water, and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Fair enough. Regala? Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way. So her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives as a whole. I can't promise anything, but if this wound was built by the old ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. You're not Karja. Or Osiron. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the west? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. All right, as you can see, I'm not really fast traveling a lot here. The wind what? in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Will you get the heck out of there? Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. I should be able to turn off my focus for a while. I can follow where the pipe's general going? direction now. I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or we used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. Save my plasma ammo. Use something else.
Those flowers. The crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. Well, some of the... Uh... You know, even then in Horizon Zero Dawn, they are really... Uh... It looks like the metal from the wound. We really are following its trail. As I've been saying, the desert kills, but it also surprises. It's a rabbit season. Is that a pelican? Or a vulture, huh? Check where the pipes are headed with my focus. That goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. It's a lot of machines. And a very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Following it. Isn't sure, Gamo.
I need to get my stamina back first. Alright, that was not a smooth battle, but the most important thing is that um, we're able to get the job done. So it's time to scrap. Alright, let's have a good start this um this uh, episode. Of course, um in the first two minutes of the game we got a trophy for completing the upgrade of pouch. You know him? So this is not yet the uh Aloy. This dead soldier is one of Dracas, but we still need to find the source of the wound's water. Water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. Which means these anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. Hmm. Like this green shine for something special. It's like there's a dam in here, and someone's blocking the dam or something. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon... Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open. But he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or... Ignorance. If I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful.
What do you need me to do? Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. That might help. Hey, it stopped leaking. So it looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. Same type of machinery we found outside. Only well, this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. It sounds like the water's switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Switched back. Oh, the water pressure. I need to find a it's way up to that again. valve. Whatever you did, undo it. Better close that up again. The leaks disappeared. Making progress. Is it done? Not yet. I'm working on it. The water is still leaking. I gotta try something else. Looks like I can redirect the water with this thing. Maybe that'll bypass the leak. It seems like the water's switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. switch again and find a way to that valve upstairs. Run out of time. What's that valve upstairs?
There. I bet I can use that. No, but the question is where? Open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. <laughs> Sounds like that did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan works. That should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please, to make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey, the desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off. Well, that's a little challenging.
things with this machine for now. These soldiers got in the wound in the sand. But now Yara, what's going on? Is this a coup? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. Small trickle. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. The water's coming back, slowly. It'll take a while for it to be full, but at least it's something. And now Drak has seen it too. to play some strike. You have some nerve. You want to talk? That doesn't sound good. Watch your tone. Or what? You let these two kill me? How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it. Or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us. And when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning. But slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this. No more words. And oh. that challenge. Gather your squads then. And meet us at the gate of the vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. 
Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those two scab heads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot we'll counsel force them, them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? What shut it off? No one knows. But it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker, especially with a bow in your hand. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. Well, that will be pain. Get spikes nuts. Still luck. We continue to be in episode 38, folks. Ah. So tensions are really, uh, you know, being uh, heightened by the fact that um, both are really hard-headed in their own ways. But as the guy said, they are both aggressive, but they want what's good for the clan.
All right, so... The gate of the vanquish, huh? Drakas challenge here for command of desert land. Unless Ailo interbase, mayhem will follow. Okay, since this is level 15, maybe uh, we can just get on with it right now. Unless. combat training fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines but fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face I'm Lee Rocket I run the training pit here in Scalding Spear only a few outlanders have ever made it out this far west but from what I've heard you're a pretty good fighter you can train here if you like but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit everything else stays with me and if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. Complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. And what happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. If you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh's trainer? More than just a trainer. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? Yes. If you can beat all the pit masters. So, what will it be? Should you want to practice or take on a challenge, just let me know. Alright, so... Slash. Get in the air and slash down at your enemy. It's a good way to set up follow up attacks. Good. Let's try to master this. Oh! <laughs> 
A jump off is a great way to get distance from opponents and to set up an aerial shot. Jump off is a great way to get distance from opponents and to set up an aerial shot. <laughs> okay, let's. What the heck is Good work, Outlander. Workout lander.
All right, some of it's still luck. Combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. Well, we're still in training, folks, so. different. I want you to practice using aerial slash to chain into an aerial chuck. All right, let's let's take this guy. Folks, so that was a good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here, a mark is promised. Thanks. One down, I guess. Go to the training pits in the Bulwark and Thorn Marsh. Earn their marks, then you can challenge the Enduring. Few have ever done so, but I think you might have a shot. All right, and folks. If you want to train more or take Thank on you, everyone. God bless you all. And stay safe out there, folks. Welcome.